Hey, I'm Dr. Nikki with Celgen Regenerative Medicine in the Savannah, Georgia area. And so people are asking very commonly, does this have anything to do with aborted fetuses or do we have to be sacrificing test tube babies? I've even had some people who have just immediately gone on the attack without finding out first where do these stem cells for regenerative medicine come from. The good news is, of course, is here in the United States is that um, any research with tissues from aborted fetuses is illegal. Any research or use of anything with embryonic stem cells, that's illegal as well. There isn't anything like that here in the United States. But what's happened was that they found that there was a really, really rich source of stem cells that we could get that didn't involve harming anyone or anything. In fact, something that was typically being just thrown away and discarded turned out to be an amazing source of stem cells, and that is the umbilical cord. So we're talking about the umbilical cord of babies delivered right here in the United States to healthy mothers, healthy babies, that those are rich in stem cells. But we don't have to have any sacrificing of any test tube babies. There doesn't need to be any abortions happening, nothing like that. If you hear about somebody who's traveling to some third world country to get stem cells, it doesn't have to be, but it might be something with aborted fetuses or embryonic stem cells. But here in the United States, when you're seeing regenerative medicine being described and stem cell injections, we're typically talking about stem cells that are either coming from your own body or stem cells that are coming from the umbilical cords of babies delivered right here in the United States, healthy mothers, healthy babies, being screened for diseases, screened for any history of drug use, all of those kinds of things, so you can trust that what you're getting is a very, very safe product that is regulated by the FDA. Again, like I've talked about in previous videos, stem cells don't need to be approved by the FDA, but the companies that harvest the stem cells and distribute them to doctors and offices like ours, those are regulated by the FDA and they have FDA oversight to make sure things are being done correctly and done appropriate. So stem cells seem to be an amazing, amazing opportunity for us. And we're seeing things that we've never been able to see change before, now responding amazing and beautifully. And I would encourage you to find out if regenerative medicine could be an option for you before you go down any other pathways that you may not be able to turn around and recover from. So thank you for your attention. And as always, please give us your questions or comments, your posts down below. And if there's anything that we can do to help you out, please let us know at Cell Gen Regenerative Medicine.